Hello guys, what is up? This is my first YouTube video. So if you're seeing this, that means that you should like and subscribe. I am Taylor Jensen. Hi, nice to meet you. Shake my hand. Okay, good job. So today we're going to be doing a little get ready with me slash get to know me. Um, my boyfriend is on his way home. So if you hear my dogs barking, I'm really sorry about that because they go crazy when we come home from work. Um, so since this is my first video, I'm going to rattle off some facts about me. So as you can see by my sweatshirt, I am from Wisconsin. Um, and personally, I love it. The winters kind of suck, but it, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. Um, I am 21. I turned 22 in April, so yes, I am an Aries. I love myself. Um, we don't think we're the best, though. Just kidding, yes, we do. Um, I have two dogs, like I mentioned. I have a beagle and a pit bull. So pit bull is actually my boyfriend's, and the beagle is mine. Um, the pit bull is 10, and my beagle is 7, so... But they don't act like they're that old. They act like they are still puppies, actually. Um, which can be a problem. My best friend lives in Arkansas. She actually has her own YouTube channel, so I will link that in the description box down below. Um, Matthew and I, we have been together for almost three years at this point. In May, it'll be three years. We actually just bought a house together in November. So if you guys like want to see like some home video, home like lifestyle videos, let me know because I would love to do that because we're doing a lot of upgrades in this house. We've already done a couple like painting. Um, we redid our flooring in our bathroom. We got a new toilet in there. We kind of had to do that though. That wasn't more of our choice, but um, let's see, what else do I have down here? I graduated in 2017. I had, I went to a very small school, so I had graduated with like 30-ish classmates. Yeah, you heard that right, 30-ish. Not a lot of people. We had a lot of people drop out, a lot of people move away, and, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I love Crocs. That's another fact. I have five pairs, I think. I'm wearing a pair right now. I wear them around my house all the time. Um, so the shade might be a little off right now because I have been using a little bit of self-tanner. Um, I've just been using the Jorgens Natural Glow Tanned Medium. Um, but working with what we got. And try not to use so many primers just because um my face it's really finicky so like in the summer i'll be oily as hell and in the winter like now it's winter here dry like dry as a sahara desert sahara sahara how do you guys pronounce it that's something i've never learned but i've also never been good at geography so that doesn't surprise me um, I have 13 piercings and three tattoos. I plan to add more tattoos, but as far as piercings go, I think I'm done just because the rest of the piercings I want, um, can't really have them with my job. So, um, they're no go because they're mostly facial piercings and my job wouldn't like that very much. Um, I have never broken a bone. Surprise, surprise. For how much of a daredevil I was as a kid, I didn't break any bones. And that's especially surprising considering I have horses. I am a horseback rider. Um, I don't do any, like, showing or gaming, really. I just, I trail ride. I wanted to learn to barrel race, but, um... But my job, unfortunately, takes up most of my time, so I don't have 
the ability to do everything I would like to do. Uh, but that's that's okay. Like I said, I graduated in 2017. Um, I don't really have a lot else to say. I deal with a lot of chronic pain. Um, I have a hip impingement. I'm not sure if many of you know what that is, but if you do, I am sorry because it's not fun. And I've had recently been diagnosed with what it is. Um, like within the last year, year or two. But I've been dealing with it since I was little without even realizing it. So, go me, it's a wonderful life. It's really just kind of about trying to manage it. Um, and deal with it. Because, you know, you can't, like, if they want to do surgery on me or have me do physical therapy, and that's just not in the books for me. I don't have money to pay for either of those things. Um, and I have a job. I can't take time off of my job because I have bills to pay. I have a house mortgage to pay. Another fact about me, we have fish. We have a beta fish along with a neon tetra and six other kinds of fish. Well, not six other kinds. There's two other kinds, but three of each. So we have seven, eight fish. Um, the beta's name is Shiran, and my Neon Tetra is named Frankie, and he's the only one I can tell who he is because he's the last one of them, so that's the reason he got a name. Uh, if you're wondering what foundation I used, I just used the Matte and Poreless, which I shouldn't be doing considering how dry my skin is, in shade 118 Light Beige. I've noticed that this shade can oxidize really quick within like a couple hours so be better of that or at least it has on me lately that could be because it's expired that's fine um for concealer i am using the 16 hour camo concealer from elf don't need a lot of this it goes a really really long way um lately i've been using a dry beauty sponge to blend this out just because I feel like it absorbs a little bit more of the product um leaves like less excess just sitting there on top of your skin speaking of I think my boyfriend just got home jealous of me. Um, Cropper, lay down. I did go to work with my brows and like um just a little bit of lashes on and I took a pair of the Ardell uh demi wispies and just Kind of cut them like about about an hour, I would say, give or take. But that's all I did for today. Got everything coming. He's still not. If you, um, my camera is right here, so. You know, I, I don't necessarily think I'm great at makeup, but I have a lot of people telling me I am. But, you know, we are our own worst enemy, so I, like I just said, I don't think I'm that great. But, you know, I, it won't hurt to make a YouTube video. Um, just don't be too harsh in the comments, please, guys. So, like I said, first one, don't really know what I'm doing. It's a learning process, so bear with me. Um, I'm not really going to sit on it just because, like I said, my face 
it's really dry. So we'll probably just let that get. And it's pretty much it's pretty much dry already. So I am going to take my Milani bronzer in the shade Suntan 3. I don't know. Don't really know. Um and take oh, not the brush I want. This brush, this brush, this brush, this brush, which I'm uh, pretty sure it used to be an Avon brush, but you can just use any simple angled brush you have. Um, I have a fluffy brush I like to use too sometimes, but this just gives you more of a really angled look. Um, Sometimes I'll use like the angle brush and then I'll go on like the fluffy brush to diffuse it just a little bit more so it's not so harsh and you know I know a lot of people like that defined look but personally I don't um I feel like it can make my own face look a little funky sometimes so I try to stay away from having it be too sharp but that's just my personal preference you do what you want boo um I kind of want to do like some vlogging videos, but I need to remember. I also don't do anything with my life. I go to work, I come home, take care of my dogs, hang out with my boyfriend. That's it. Like really all our lives consist of. Every now and then we go do something like, um, we'll go like hang out with our friends at this uh, vape shop they have, or Go hang out with family while well, there's an eagle flying. Just just country Wisconsin things. Um, but yeah, like I said, our lives are pretty boring, especially lately with the whole, um, you know, C word going on. But that, that's okay. Sometimes you need a little bit of boring in your life. Um, I'm still not done with my makeup. That's okay. I am taking my that's right on here. Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon and my Morphe M405. This is just another angled brush that I like to use because apparently I like angled brushes a lot. Um Probably not gonna do anything on the eyes since I already have lashes on. I did move my concealer around a little up there just to give it a little bit more of like a more of a uniformed look, so it didn't look super crazy. Um, for me, I like to take my blush up onto my um, cheekbones and down into like the apples of my cheeks just to, I don't know what it does to my face. I really don't, but um, I don't think it really angles my face so much. I think it just kind of does more of a, more of a natural, smallish natural look. Um, like I said, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush. This is from Precision Beauty. It's just called a powder brush. Just diffuse that out a little bit more. You know, I'll go back up on the forehead, chin, the nose. One thing I do like to do a lot is definitely contour my nose because I have a pretty big nose, if you can tell, and I hate it. That's like my biggest insecurity. Um, if I could get a nose job, by all means, I definitely would. But I'm poor, so I can't do that. What else is next? This video is kind of lame just because I already have my lashes on, my eyebrows on, but I could probably go over my eyebrows again just because I did them at like 5.30 this morning and it is now almost 2 o'clock, so I believe it's only 2 o'clock. It was later in the day than that. I don't know. 
what time zone are you guys in? Oh, and like I said, I will link my best friend slash sister-in-law, actually, her channel down below. Um, like I said, she is from Arkansas. She is big into cleaning, cooking, just being kind of like, she's like your typical country girl. I will say that. Um, super sweet. Sweet as pie, honestly. True. Excuse me. True Southern Belle, I would say. Um, but for my brows lately, I normally use the NYX, um, what is this brow called again? Micro Brow Pencil. I don't really know like, what else to call it, but I am pretty much out of it now, so I've just been going in with a ColourPop E6, and which is just a really small angled brush and using my Kat Von D Shade and Eye Light Palette and I've just been using the um, dark brown shade right there for my eyebrows. Um, when I do freckles, like fake freckles, I like to use the lightest brown shade all the way at the very end on the left side a lot. Um, but I don't do fake freckles that often just because I like them around the summer. It right now I said it's winter so um, that's that that's as good as they're gonna get I mean they're pretty much done before but they're okay I don't care um I'll a little bit of like inner corner I laid, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about adding just a little bit of eyeshadow up here, like in the crease, just to make it, just to make my eyes a little bit more defined. Um, I can find my brush. Okay. Yes, so this is the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH30. Um, what palette do I want to use? Oh, I'll just this one. This is the Morphe 35M basic but I am a sucker for neutral tones I don't do a lot of crazy looks I'm too chicken um, one thing I will say here though is that on this channel we use profanity I am very much a tomboy like I'm girly but I'm also like very tomboyish so I definitely swear up a storm. Like, probably enough to make some grown men blush. Uh, if that's not your thing, then probably shouldn't watch this because at some point it won't come out. Um, although, I will say, I do know, like, when the right context is to use swearing. Like, obviously, if I'm at work and I'm, like, you know, talking to a customer or a sales account. I'm not gonna swear at them unless I know them really well and you know we have that kind of relationship. It's not not gonna do it. It's not professional. Um, also, sorry, I'm not telling you guys what I'm using. I don't know what the shade is called. It is the. It is. Let me see if I can get this. A swan. That guy. Whatever that color is called. It's like a tan. I know that's probably not really helpful because they're almost all tan shades, so it's like a warm tan. Don't really like it in the palette, but on the eyes it definitely is. Um, I'm just going to try to pull that out a little bit. Just to, because as you can see I didn't like my eyelashes out to the corners you know just the outer corner so I'm going to try and mimic that with my eyeshadow today I'm really sorry if you guys can't see what I'm doing but hello bush what recording I can edit it out boo boo
Sorry about that. I did. I had to go give him some love. He missed me all day. We both get up fairly early. He gets up much earlier than I do, though. Um, a lot of the time he's left the house by 3.15 in the morning. What? Are you having another one? Okay. That's what I needed. Um, but, you know, on the topic of, you know, makeup again, I do want to start trying out some new foundations because I've been using pretty much the same stuff for the last couple of years. I know that I really like the Makeup Revolution, I think that's what it's called for today. Yeah, Makeup Revolution London, I like their stick, but one, the shade's too light, and two, Shingong, Shingong gone. Like, she left the building and she ain't coming back, so. I need a new one of those. Um, you know, normally I go into a tanning bed, but with the whole corona thing and being broke, I haven't been doing that lately. Um, but now that I, I think I finished my eyes. I think, I think that's where I'm going with that today. I am just gonna pop on a little bit, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of mascara. Um, I use the Oreo Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise. I know a lot of people use this. It's nothing new, nothing that special. But it's fine. I like it. I do like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but like I said, I'm pretty broke, so I can't be doing that. I'm going to focus this more on like my inner corner just because um, to make it look more natural that I have the fake lash on the outer corner. I'm going to lightly go over here. I know people say not to use mascara on your falsies, but I do all the time. Um, I clean them up properly and keep reusing them, so it doesn't bother me. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Hopefully they look a little similar, but if they don't, oh well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally doing my makeup to film right now. That's all. Well, and that's my dog biting her toenails. Also, please ignore the faces I make. I make some weird faces while I'm doing my makeup. And then, not nah, really, sorry. Um. I'm going to wait for my top lashes to dry just a little bit, and then I'm going to pop the same mascara on the bottom lash, because I don't have a different one on the bottom lashes, so. We will wait, and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Bye.
Is this thing still on? Yeah, okay. I'm back. Time to do our bottom lashes. Um, for this face, this is not a cute face, I will admit it. My bottom lashes, like I have long bottom lashes, they're just really finicky sometimes. Like I like to stick to my top ones a lot and girl does not like that. I don't like your face. Um, also quick tip, don't worry about like if you get mascara on like your top lid or like your bottom lid. Wait for it to dry if you do. And then what I like to do is I like to like take a really small little brush like this. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH39. You can use something like that. You can use a spoolie and like if you're using a brush just take a little bit of translucent powder and sit there and lightly rub where you got your mascara on your face set. Also, yes, I put mascara on my left hand on my left side of my face. It blows my mind when people use their right hand for both sides of their face. I really think I was supposed to be a lefty, but in school, I saw everyone else using their right hand, so I used my right hand too, and now I'm a righty. The world may never know. We are almost done. Hang tight. Hang tight. I promise. Uh, I wanted to do highlighter. Oh my guys. I got my hair loose. Mm. We will go. No. No. I have a lot of golden highlighters, but I don't really want a golden highlighter. I'll just use this. This is wicked expired at this point. Uh, see, 12 months. I have had this since 2017, you guys. 2017. And that's all I've done to it. And that's it. But it, it still works like a charm. I personally love it. So, I'm going to continue to use it, guys. Uh, also, if you're wondering what I'm recording this on, I'm just using my phone. You are balanced on top of my makeup organizer, and I'm sitting in front of a window. That's all I'm doing right now. So, my, um, a lot of people in my family, they said I should start making YouTube videos, and I was like, oh, why not? I'll give it a shot. Like, what's the worst that can happen? So... We're, we're giving it a shot, y'all. Oh, another interesting fact about me. I lived in New Hampshire for six months. Yeah, six months. A lot of more Easter's. It was during the winter. So, was not... Was not a great time the whole time because there was a lot of snow. A lot, a lot of snow. Also, off camera... I put some chapstick on. Like I said, it's winter here. My skin is so dry. I can't even stand to put lipstick or anything on. I just normally use chapstick because I, I personally like my natural lip color. I am just going to use that same highlighter on the tip of my nose though. Gonna rub it in. Well, let's, let's get a little more. Don't be shy, I put even more. Honestly, I don't really know where that's from, guys. Like, where is that saying from? Because I have not figured it out. I thought it was like a James Charles thing, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I the only person who doesn't know that? Possibly. Um, I'm gonna put some highlighter just on the top of my cheeks. Just like the very, very tippy top. And this is the e.l.f. highlighter brush. Blah, 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 blush. No, brush. There we go. As you guys learn in this video and future videos, I can't speak English hardly at all. Like, I can't. I just suck at it. Like, English was my only language. You'd think I'd know how to speak properly, but I don't. 
Ooh, y'all seen it? Like, this is why I still love this highlighter, even though it's so old. I don't care. It does not bother me. I'm gonna put some setting spray on and I will be right back. Just waiting for it to dry at this point. <laughs> Also, yeah, I, I still use, I use like an envelope, like a pink envelope that I got a coupon in that I never used. So I use this to dry my face when I put setting spray on. Also the um, setting spray I used is the Maybelline Lasting Fix set of setting spray. Personally, I like the um, Milani make it last setting spray better, but I don't have that right now. So I'm using what I got. But alright guys, that completes this get ready with me, get to know me video. Um I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will be uploading more videos. Alright. See you later.